Hello and welcome back to another character customization video. My name is Lumen and today, Goose Goose Duck. This is a game of social deduction where you and your fellow geese must work together to complete your mission. Keep an eye out for those malicious mallards and other birds who have infiltrated your team and will do anything to stop you. It's basically Among Us, but with geese and ducks. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I like the idea of playing as geese and ducks more so than those little Among Us guys, but that might just be me. Anyway, we're jumping in here, and if you'd like to read more about the game, do a deep dive to discover everything there is to discover, you can find the links below, and you can also find the timestamps below. Use them. With all of that out of the way, let's jump into the collection and see how you can customize your cute little goose. First things first, you are presented with a bunch of cosmetic options here, and you get to change the color. There are a decent number of colors you can pick from, free. I want to say free, of course, but that's not obvious. <laughs> it's not always the case with games like this. A lot of this stuff here costs, but as far as I understand, you can get the currency by playing the game, you can get the currency by spending time in here. You'll see in a minute. You'll see how it works. The colors, they are free. You get to pick what color you want your goose to be. And as I mentioned, there's a decent selection. So for the purposes of the video, let's go with the white, just because, and then let's start on the cosmetics. They are cute little hats, and you can see that these are sort of like limited time ones. They're here for winter only. This one's for Luna here. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I think that the crazy eyes are what really like sells it, you know? And then as you can see, these ones over here, they are quite a bit cheaper, but they are the permanent ones that sort of you know, hang around. Lots of different options though, and there will be even more on the store. And these coins that you have here, uh, you can buy them with real money. Or as I mentioned, I think you get them in limited number uh, by playing the game or just logging in daily. But yeah, like lots of cute options here. Lots of cool stuff you can use to customize yourself. I think it's sort of a no-brainer for a game like this because you want to be able to add a splash of personality to your character and I think that you also want to, for the most part, be able to sort of set a tone so, <laughs> so that if you look a certain way, then people will think, you know, a certain thing about you and you can use that to your advantage. You know, it's all about tricking people. Everything here is about tricking people. I'm not now reading it, but you will see that most of the items have some nice uh, flavor text. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. But you got a wide selection. Lots of different types of hair, uh, jewelry, hats, everything. A really wide selection. And again, it's, it's pretty nicely done, you know? You can <laughs> some of them better than others. Uh, you can see that they put quite a bit of effort into this and it's cool. A lot of different references and stuff in here. Uh, a lot of different sort of throwbacks and styles that you'll recognize. <laughs> and I like that it doesn't just limit itself to like a little thing on top. Like they do sort of intact with the whole model a little bit here and there. Yeah, I mean that's... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean they've really got everything in here. Like these are gamers. These are some gamers that made this. And I like that most of this is kind of cheap. Like, I don't know how long it'll take to earn this amount, but like, the numbers, let's just say they aren't that high. You will, however, notice that some of the more extravagant stuff will be available in the store and will cost a little bit more. You will notice that. But that makes sense, uh, as this is a free-to-play game. It makes a lot of sense that you would... <laughs> the drool. You would, uh, you know, not so much be forced to, but you'd be compelled to spend a little bit of money on the customization if it's something that you enjoy. That's it for the hats. Let's move on to the outfits. Slightly less here, but still a decent amount. You will also notice that there are some that sort of fit with the hats so you can sort of look uh, look at this and then sort of add that to it and they would make sense as a duo 
You've got like the winter sweaters here with the winter hats. Uh, you've got the little tiger thing for the lunar hat and so on and so forth. And you will notice also the prices here. Yeah, these ones. These ones cost the regular currency, not the premium currency. It's cool. And again, as with the hats, they do a decent job here of giving interesting stuff. A lot of these are one-to-one -one fitted styles that have a matching hat. Not all of them. Definitely not all of them. But a lot of them. You will, like, pick this one and you're like, huh, oh, well, you know, I like that. Uh, I'd like to sort of complete the look. So then you go into the hat section and you will find one there that suits it. For the most part. I don't think all of them do. Because, as I mentioned, there's slightly less here. But definitely enough. <laughs> oh, that's so elegant. <laughs> oh, it's great. Man. The little wings. The bee costume. Yeah, it's kind of great. So you can sort of mix and match here to your heart's content. Try and figure out what looks good. What do You can even dress up like a cow. Try and figure out what looks good, what doesn't. What works, what doesn't. The prices on these, I don't know how long it'll take to get uh, 8,000, but they do go up. As I go down, the prices go up. And the more extravagant ones, <laughs> the more exciting ones, definitely cost a little bit more. That's, wow. That's really cool. Yeah, these ones are, these are insane. Like that, for instance. Super nice. I don't know how they all look in-game. I don't know if any of them have moving parts or anything like that, but... They are, regardless, pretty cool. There you are. Unfortunately, I can't, like, equip one of these and keep it on the preview and then move on to the next section. But next up, we have our duck farts. It's like an emote, uh, but it's a, it's a fart. Uh, well, in this case, it's a goose fart. Uh, or duck, I guess that depends on who you're going to be. But you fart out the little uh, emotes. It's pretty cool. There's apparently a sound effect for this. And you can turn it off in the options menu because <laughs> it seems like people get disturbed by this. I don't know why. I don't know why the fa sound of farting would disturb someone. But you can turn it off. So they were at least a little uh, kind with that. So this covers your full range of emotions. You got all the emotes and all the little extras that you'd expect. And I think that most of these are set up in such a way that it would be very easy for them to add new stuff. Which is also cool. Yeah, because if you're playing this game and you plan on playing this game going forward, then... It's nice to know that there's a good chance it'll be supported. There's a good chance it'll be sort of looked after and so on and so forth. That's it for the emotes. Next up, pets. This is something I did not expect. I didn't know if this was something that was in Among Us. I never really played Among Us, but you can get a little pet and it seems like it has uses. I don't know exactly what that is, but uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. You get little pets. There's a baby duck and a baby goose. And what makes me happy is that they both look exactly the same. <laughs> uh, little panda, little cat. It's all very cute. The style here is, is just perfect. It's spot on. It's a little ghost. Another little ghost. A skull. A gorilla. It's nice. This thing is nice. Little angel. Cute and creepy, all in one egg-shaped package. Old Yeller, Visitor, Spitfire, there's a little Reaper. Yeah, cute pets, cute pets. And then these over here are your kill animations. Also cool. There's just so many different opportunities for them to monetize the game. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they love in this. Uh, you can... 
atomize, de-atomize someone. You can roast them, which is obviously great. You can use some knives. Not sure why the picture is a gun and it uses knives. Or you can use a blow dart, which looks amazing. And with that said, and with that done, we can jump into crafting. There's actually a few more things. I think there are a few more kill animations. Yeah, a few more kill animations in the crafting over here. You can gather materials and you can craft them. These are even more exciting. Uh, there's a spit bug. There's an alien, which is just perfect. You did maybe see that there were some alien cosmetics as well. This is a teleportation device. Apothecary. There's a cannon. A fist fight, which is perfect. Pepper box. And an anaconda. Then the last three are Jaguar, which is great. This reminds me of Resident Evil for obvious reasons. A plant. And open heart surgery. Then your materials are over here. You can see that I don't have any at the moment. Next up is the cards and banners. These are your profile pictures and or banners. Uh, you can see it's all optional stuff. And some of these, they require you to do certain things. I'm sure that there are ones that you can buy as well. It looks like most of these are locked behind achievements. But I'm sure there are ones that you can buy as well. And you'll most likely find that on the shop. We're going to go into the shop in just a moment. Hmm. Some of them are locked behind question marks which is obviously like a spoiler or it's not been unlocked yet the achievement itself has not been unlocked yet uh, but there's a lot of different ones here again uh, some cool like flavor text and little hidden like easter eggy type things that you can find here some of these definitely look better than others there will obviously be cool combos that you can pull off here that's great the combos with as an example picking one of these and then jumping into the banners and picking a banner that matches See, the basic ones you can see are locked behind uh, easy stuff. And obviously, as you get higher, or as you do the more advanced stuff, they will get a little bit more difficult to unlock. You can apparently level pretty high. We're already at 500 here. 510, 550. We're still going. 630, 650 crazy i wonder how many people have so many levels in this game 870 is apparently the highest number interesting okay and then the banners there are fewer banners uh, but they are definitely cooler these ones you purchase i want to say it would have been cool if there were animated ones but eh, i don't know not exactly sure where these are displayed. My assumption is it's like when you join a game and then when you finish a game. Uh, but you can see that your little goose is animated. So at least something is moving there. But again, you can use these to make nice combos with the portraits. Or not. Uh, you could just do something random. There's actually quite a few of these. Ah, so these ones are the achievement ones. You can see all the ones with the locks on. So from this point down, these are all achievement. And you can see the, the way you get them here as well, quite easily. Yeah, some are really cool. I, I, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking there might actually be more. More than the cards, at least. We'll see when we go down now. Oh yeah, there might actually be more. I thought that because of those leveling ones, there'd be way more cards, but no, that's not the case. There's a lot of these. Oh yeah, here's the leveling ones. Wow. Okay, no, so this is definitely more. These are cool though. So many. These space ones are cute. Dragons. Seems a bit random. Like there's no real rhyme or reason to it. 984. Yeah, I wonder how many people have that already. And then at the bottom here, uh, you can check the achievements out. Obviously, a lot of the stuff that we just looked at is locked behind the achievements. And uh, at the top, I wanted to say you can actually look at your level somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where that was. 
Uh, as you level, obviously, you, you sort of gain new stuff. And as you log in, you get daily rewards. Uh, you can see that you do get some of the premium coins and stuff here. But the final thing I wanted to show off was actually just the shop. Uh, this actually takes you into the Steam browser. Uh, you will see right now that all you need to do is scroll down. And you can see some of the cool stuff that you can buy here. That's the basement pack. There's <laughs> some cool looking stuff in there. Uh, the hunter pack. The cultist pack. The starter pack. Some more simplistic stuff. And the supporter pack. And then finally down at the bottom here you can get yourself some coin packs. Which will obviously equate to the in-game currency. Price wise, I mean it seems like it's around... 499 for 100 uh, uh, well $10 for 200 so it's about double what you'd expect from these games usually it's like 10 to 100 right or 10 to a thousand that depends on how they do things but yeah that's about right so that brings us to the end of the video that is about all there is to see and that is about all I've seen thus far now I know there might be some little bits and pieces that I missed but I think that it's a pretty cool customization system there's a lot going on here you can you can do some cool stuff with your goose so if you guys are playing this game i'd love to hear from you what you think of it is it more fun than among us i never played among us so i don't know if this would be a better place to jump in i don't know if i'd like have more fun than this than i would in among us but it looks cool it really does and i'd love to hear what kind of cool customization you made with your character what you set up what you like or what you dislike let me know leave those comments as always, check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy finding those, uh, what were they called? Malicious mallards. Good luck. Happy that.